the floor. I'm doing it. Smoke on the beat. that the chief security officer of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, is complicit in this crime, in this crime against humanity. Today in Biafra Watchdog, I will not be talking alone as usual. I have a you know, panel of these cousins who will be looking at this issue to actually see why the person we entrusted our lives, the security of our people in his hands, would turn around to be an instrument of death to we dear friends. So today, in the panel, I have from my extreme right, I am Amadi Basi Luba. We are dear friends. Thank you for watching. You are welcome, Amadi Basil. You are welcome to this program today. Yes. And then, from my immediate right, you have a. My name is Valentine Nandi. Welcome, viewers, to another day, a special day indeed. Thank you very much. I still remember there was a day we handled a program together in this uh, program. And for some time now, I've not seen you. I learned that you traveled, you went to, to Switzerland. How was your trip? I have been occupied, but I am back because Biafra is the first thing that should be. You are welcome, Mr. Mm -hmm. Bali. You are welcome to this program. And um, from my immediate left, you have uh, my name is Onyebuchi Osorobi. Reaching you from Kuala Lumpur. Stay tuned. Watch. You are welcome, Mr. Osorobi, to Biafra Watchdog. And uh, last but not the least, uh, viewers at home, we welcome you to Biafra Watchdog. This is Carlo Albo from Akano Omofia in Biafra land. Stay tuned and listen to what we are about to discuss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Viewers, we are all heartbroken as you see us here today. We are not very happy reporting that the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, whom the citizens of Biafra land voted into power as their governor, has turned around to be an agent of Hausa Fulani to kill our people. Willie Obiano mobilized his men against his own people, mobilized the Nigerian armed forces against his own people. It is really regrettable. 
Today, as we are going to look into this matter, I want to come to you, Mr. Carlo Abu. I learned that uh, I, we, we, it was reported that lots of uh, bodies of uh, Biafras that were killed were taken to the army barracks. Is that what it should be? When, if there is any reason for the soldiers to kill our men, should they have taken them to the barracks? Well, uh, Mr. Moderator, I thank you so much uh, for your uh, effort so far because we have uh, discussed on this issue the previous day and I told you that in Nigeria, where they call the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which to us, the Great Biafrans, we, are, we know it as the Islamic Zoological Republic of Nigeria, where there is lawlessness. Now, Going to what you have asked me now, the soldiers killing our people and taking their body, their corpses to their, to their barracks, it is to tell you that this is a, a pre-planned activity which the Nigerian state has already planned on what to do with our people. If you look at it very well with good investigative journalism, if we have journalists that they are involved in investigative activities, we will understand that these people that were abducted were specifically meant to uh, transport their, to have their organs for sale. That is, that is the preoccupation of the Nigerian system. Look at it from another perspective. We are the indigenous people of Biafra, people who own the land. We have the inalienable right to celebrate. We have inalienable right to come out and make a procession in memory or in remembrance of our fallen heroes. But for the Nigerian state to send their uh, security forces to shoot unarmed uh, Biafrans and to take their corpses to their barracks. That is to tell you that there is a plan that has already been hatched. What you saw on the target of men is just a fulfillment of what their plan has been all this while. Well, thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Abu. You have just raised an issue that is worthy of investigation. Yes. For the Nigerian army to shoot our people and take their bodies to the army barracks is something that needs to be investigated. Because there is no reason for you to kill a person you believe that he is maybe a protestant, you believe that he is, um, uh, maybe he, he came to attack you or whatever, you shot him down. What is the reason for taking his body to, the, uh, to your barracks? There must be a reason for them to take the bodies of the people they killed to the barracks. And information reaching Biafra Watchdog has it that Nigerian government officials are harvesting organs of people, especially IPOB members they kill, they take their bodies to harvest the organs for, trans for business purposes, for whatever purposes that they want to use their organs. They are harvesting the organs of our people. So, at this point in time, we are calling for an investigation as to the reason the army killed our men and took their bodies to the barracks. Now, I'm coming to you, Amadi Basel. We heard that Obiano mobilized these men with almost 10 million naira, a governor that is supposed to protect our people. And the information we have is that he paid these soldiers off to kill our people. What do you think our people should do? And you can see that um, the governor of um, Anambra State has been conquered by the northern, northern Nigerians. By the Hausa oligarchy? Yes. You can see that they want to use him as a political leader in that very state to conquer the people of Biafra, as they did to the Hausas. But 
The people of Biafra cannot keep quiet. As he mobilized on 30th of May and he killed the people of Biafra who committed no crime. The only crime they committed was that they came out to remember their fallen heroes and heroines. That what Obiano, the governor of Anambra State, did on 30th of May 2016 is a crime against humanity. In fact, the fact that Obiano you know, voted the sum of 10 million naira for the extermination of his people is an indication that he is not even a Biafran. Because there is no reason a Biafran leader who is a governor of a state should plan to massacre his own people, even pay money for it. Yes, because that he, he has been conquered. Mr. Moderator, I but don't want to cut you in. I want to I want to point out something about this governor, people that we parade themselves as the politician or our leaders. You we have to understand that these people are secretly under oath with the House of Fulani since the end of the war in 1970. Before you will be given any position in any part of Biafra land, be it a councillor, be it a House of Assembly member, be it National Assembly, whatever position, before you will be allowed to, 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 to occupy any position in that part of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, which is in Biafra land, you must have a secret oath taken with this filthy house of Fulani people because they believe that after the war, Nigeria belongs to them. And whoever that they must, whoever that must be in any position must do their bidding. So when you see Obiano, uh, Okurausa, and uh, some of other of 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 them, you, when you see them doing it, you can remember the other day there was a killing of about 500 people in the Atenugu. The governor, he went there and shedding crocodile tears. After shedding the crocodile tears, all he can say is that we should fast and pray. How do you fast and pray when people are coming with AK-47? <laughs> so when he said that, myself, as I was watching, I look at it, I said that this man has been in bondage. He knows that because of the oath that he has taken, there is no how he can come out and they condemn the, the evil that these people are doing on his people. So the only resort, what he, he, he just decided to resort to ask him for prayers so as to deliver himself, not delivering the people, because he is in bondage. He knows that he has been tied to the devil. So all these people that we are seeing, Mr. Moderator, they are not, uh, they are not representing us. They are representing their family and also doing, the, doing, the, of, doing the bidding of the evil master from the Fulani. Uh, uh, thank uh, you, uh, Abu. Actually, you, you hit the nail at the head. The truth is that these people are under oath that is making them to forget what they promised to their people, security and protect provision of the basic amenities. Instead, they are giving them debt and debt every day. I come to you also, Robi. You, you, you heard what the, the lady that called on Radio Biafra said, that there was a mass grave at the, at inside the barracks, close to a cemetery or something like that. We are over 500 Biafrans we are buried inside the barracks so that nobody is going to ever discover about it. What have you got to say about it? Thank you. In case from what is that, Mr. Moderator, it's really, really disheartening that um, every day by day we receive such news and our people are still there watching it happen. I am not surprised all the Eastern governors knows what I'm saying. Those people who killed our People are not the real Nigerian soldiers. 
These are Willy Obianos militia, which he has been harboring. When you go to Imo State, Rotas of Gorota has his own militia. And when it will unfold, we will know that this is what is happening. Those people who killed our people on that very day, they were putting on army uniform without identity. Those of them who came and took our people, whom they shot from the hospital, were never army uniform. They were unmarked, but they were driving the army Hilos vans. Those who took them to where they were buried, according to the news we got and then the evidence we've got, those who took them behind army barracks, that is where Willy Obiano paid the sum he paid so that the real army and those of them who are involved will now take them to go and put it because their father, their dad, and whoever in charge who is Muhammad Wari has given them the assignment to kill and hide so that there will be no evidence to show to the world. Now that they have done that, it's not something that um, everybody will fold his hand over. I am telling you, as, I, as we are speaking now, the last proof I got, more than 800 were killed. More than 600 were put, were dumped in that very um, mass, grave. Uh, mass grave where they dumped them and they used chemical on them. Remember when this young man, when this old man, Muhammad Buhari, took over powers, the first thing he did was to test his chemicals, which was napalm bomb, on our people. Secondly, he did was to test it on the African soldiers in the north. He gave it to his own militia called Boko Haram and assembled our people, our men and soldiers and asked them to go and then in, engage the Boko Haram in so so place that we are done in so so place and then he will give those chemicals to those Boko Haram to use it and kill our people and those of them were killed. After some minutes they were melted and their bones were destroyed with some chemical. The whole world had to be aware of this. Napal bomb and chemicals are not used for people who are unarmed. They are used for real criminals. They are used for hoodlums. And people going for memorial celebration, which every world, even the demon, celebrates the death of the elder and the family member. Even in heaven, something is being celebrated. Even on earth, it's been celebrated. How come even the house of Fulani oligarchy, when their people dies, they will celebrate and mourn for their people? And then every year by year, for instance, the, um, the birthday of Muhammad and the death of Muhammad is been celebrated every other time. And the birthday of every country is been celebrated every other time. We went to celebrate our fallen heroes. fallen heroes who died and to remember them because they did a lot of work for our freedom, which we are about to receive today. Why would they be killed like people who are criminals? They didn't start the killing on the 30th, may remember? They started it on the 29th night before the 30th night. They came to where people were praying in a church, in a parish. They killed a lot of people. They took away a lot of people. The same Willie Obianos militia. And then those who they, they, they killed that very night, 90 was recorded, killed, one around something was recorded, taken away, none of the hospitals, none of the um, um, uh, mortuaries, mortuaries where those people they took away were found. And on the 30th May, those people they took, they took them to the barrack, and on the 30th May day, they went on the road, on the street, in all. And they did what they did and took all of the bodies they shot, all of the people wounded and injured, and they brought them back to the barracks. And there were no place they can keep them. Now, Willie Obiano had to put into, had to dip hand into the uh, Anambra's treasury and dip out some good millions of naira. We just had 10 million, but I know Willie Obiano spent more than 200 million from the from that treasury to give to those who, who are going to bury those people in the mass grave and as well as pay for the chemical which his master has given him to use to melt those bodies. Now, everybody who is watching me, who is listening to this voice today, will know that the whole Piafra land has been marked up for extermination. Secret killings, 
I am, that is not even enough. Yesterday, just yesterday, the news came that even Germany has prepared to supply weapons to Nigeria. What is their reason? They said on the G7 day, when Buhari came, that was what they discussed, that they would give them um, ammunition to go and, uh, and I mean, uh, combat the insurgents of Boko Haram and then the Niger Delta. Then I asked them, was the Niger Delta a vengeance up when they went for the G7 meeting? So now, we are talking about it, seeing it, and then finally, our people will know that we are really, really in danger. Thank you very much. You have revealed a lot of information and a lot of facts surrounding the massacre of our people on the 30th of uh, May, which actually started on the 29th of May, when William Biano mobilized his militia to the church to kill the people that are keeping video there and took their body away. Eventually, the following day being the 30th of May, he accomplished the rest of the work, killing everybody at sight. Now, Val, there were people that were wounded who were taken to the hospitals. And our information reaching us said that these people went to the hospital and um, also scattered away the, uh, the people that were receiving treatment in the hospitals. What do you think their friends should do? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Moderator. I want to let the world know that what is happening in Nigeria and what is happening in Biafra land is what I call modern day slavery. I haven't seen in any place or read in any book that um, people will come out to remember their fallen heroes who have died, who have been massacred. They didn't even come for protest because the story started changing from the news that we are paid. And I want to remind, before I move forward, I want to remind the world that they should be very wary, aware of BBC, CNN, and majority of Nigerian news back home in Nigeria, because all of them are adulterated. They have been paid to hide the secret of what is happening in Nigeria. If you want to know exactly what is happening in Nigeria, try to send your men and media, send your intelligence to come down to Nigeria and find things out for themselves. Those that were taken, I call it kidnapping, they kill them, their plan, they have done it before, their plan is to, it is to stop the emergence of Biafra. They don't have any other perfect reason for that. They were taken, they killed them, they abducted them from the hospitals. They have done this before in that audit as well. They will go to the hospital, they will kill people, they will go to the hospital, they will adopt the corpses for them to hide this, I mean, the evidence not to be out. This is exactly what they have been doing to their friends. And we say that enough is enough. Now we have heard that the really Obiano, the governor that was picked, that was selected, you know what Nigeria has been doing ever since this dictator Buhari came into office, come to power is this. They tried to make Nigeria a one party, one party, one party, um, Nigeria to make it a one party state. That's exactly what they have been doing. Anyone that is not to their clique of devilish or courtism, they must surely make sure that they remove the person from the seat. And I believe that will really be not have, have also succumbed to that, that their devilish act. I, have, I, can, I, 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 I cannot be, be proud enough to say that we have a governor who will be there when his people is being shot, when they are being killed. For, without arm, um, people that came out to for, to memorize uh, for for the uh, remember to remember in the remembrance of their fallen heroes, they were not even um, uh, protesting. This clip started 29th of May when they came into the church. Listen to me, brother. There's something I want to tell the world. You will not go into any mosque and kill somebody in the north, any place that you go scot free. But these people went into the church on the 29th. They shot at people and they killed them for them to hide the, the evidence. They kidnapped and abducted the corpses and went away with it. The news and the intelligence that came to, came to the world and that they are pretending that they don't know, they came that they, have, they went and buried them in a mass grave just for them to hide the secret. It's quite appalling that the world will be hearing all this and they will keep quiet. I will say that it's a time for Biafra to begin to go for self-defense. Because we, because we are unarmed, 
We are trying to be innocent and diplomatic enough. That is why they can kill us at, kill us at will. We are saying 800, 600, well, I know the people that have killed is more than thousands because they are doing this killing secretly. When they kill, they will, they will pick up the corpses. And I will, I will try to call upon our people, not those that, are, that have lost their people, that you have, maybe your, your, your relation is missing, that this, this is now time to come out. We have radio Biafra to make everything open. This is not 1960s. When they use the media blockade, after cleaning us, they will hide everything. Now we have radio Biafra to expose them. Don't, don't wait to hear it from CNN. Don't wait to hear it from BBC. These are the agent of devil that is working for Nigeria because they have stake in Nigeria, being British, country British. They have stake in Nigeria. So we are going to make our news ourselves. Those people that have abducted, killed and adopted, we must surely expose them to the final stage. And again, as we are exposing them, I want our people to come out. If you are missing any of your relation, come out and bring out their names. You know the, the right channel to channel it to, that will get to Radio Biafra. We need to compile all these names and we are going to use it against Nigeria. And I want to, re I want to in my own understanding and in my own words, for us to start our self-defense because this killing is enough. They are not even killing us when we come out for protest. They are not killing us when we are doing Remembrance Day. They are gradually and secretly and surreptitiously kidnapping us, killing us, just to reduce the airborne for dead men that is in Biafra land. This is some cause for. This, this is time for us to wake up to know that we are in a secret battle and we want to bring that battle open by planning a way, plotting a way to self-defense so that we defend ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Val. Thank you so very much because um, <laughs> we don't need to tell the world that Nigeria State is on a killing spree in a war of extermination all over again. Because their intention is to wipe Biafrans out of the face of the earth. What is our crime? What is our crime? Our crime is that we are seeking for self-determination. I want to know, is the right for indigenous people to be independent not a, a civic right given to people of indigenous origin to seek for their self-determination under the law promulgated by the United Nations? Now, the Biafras are seeking to be independent from Nigeria and they are killing us systematically and the world is keeping quiet and the world is mute and the entire world is deaf and dumb. Germany has planned to supply Nigeria with war weapons. Not planned, they are on the way, so they started supplying on the more Monday. They started supplying this last Germany Monday, this Wednesday. Yes. They started supplying on Monday and the, the, the reason they gave was that they, they had said it on G7 meeting. Can you see somebody lying to you? Uh, uh, somebody who doesn't know how to lie will tell you that the goat has, eat, has ate his firewood. Now, how can now, they supply the ammunition? They said this was, it was meant for, you know, for um, uh, Niger Delta Avengers and as well as Boko Haram. Why the G7 meeting? When did Niger Delta Avengers start operating? The G7 meeting that you are talking about was held in 2015. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe the yeah. month of June or July 2015. Niger Delta Avengers started operating just this uh, May. Yeah. They started operating men. Yeah. How would they include Niger Delta in their meeting in G7? That is to that tell is you what they, they are planning against us already. That is to tell you the hypocrisy of the Western world. Listen, uh, Mr. Moreto, sorry, I want to cut in here because you said something. You were talking about uh, the the United Nations uh, laws that chart, yeah. that uh, law the charter that that guides the right of the, the right of indigenous. This law was brought to the United Nations uh, floor in 2007 or 2005. I, 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 I have to be correct about that. It was under the leadership of uh, 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 this uh, U.S. Secretary of State, past former uh, Secretary of 
Condoleezza Condoleezza Rice, who brought the case at the United Nations. And the United Nations, they passed the law, which is to say that the right of indigenous people for self-determination is a universal law. Mm -hmm. It's a universal right, which every indigenous people seeking for self-determination for, for self should be allowed to go. To. Mm -hmm. But do you know that the United Nations, they have completely gone deaf dumb and blind on the plight of the Biafra people. Biafra people have demonstrated in almost every capital cities of the world. Mm -hmm. And nobody is talking. Germany is now supplying Arms. sophisticated weapons to the evil Boko Haram in Nigeria army uniform in order to come and kill Biafra. Because since Muhammad Buhari come to power on 29th of May 2015, I have not seen where they bombarded Boko Haram. Haram. They only say it, we do, we do this, we do. you don't have any video, you don't have any, any, any photographic evidence to show a conventional army of a, of, a, of a play that they call themselves a country. They don't have video, they don't have photo shoots on their when, when they go on, on the escalator, yeah. my brother, this is a very, very serious issue which their friends all over the world we should wake up now Madre. and understand that more. allow me to come in here. Yes, you can come in, Amadi Basin. Yes, um, I think um, Germany to supply um, um, ammunition to Nigeria to, to the Hitler of 21st century means that um, Germany um, has never regretted what the Hitler of their own country did to the Jews of that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, um, I am bringing it to the world to understand that the, the, the Westerners are, are playing mask politics in Nigeria. This mask politics, the mask is the Northern Nigerians and the Westerners uh, 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 is the person in the mask. And they are doing that, they are doing that for their economic interest and in the favor of the Northern Nigeria, but in the detriment of the people of Biafra. Could you imagine that the people of Biafra have been killed? No matter that we have applied all the democratic principles in order to get our freedom, but the whole world is not talking. No matter that our, no matter that the Nigerian government and the governor of Anambra state uh, have been committing genocide against the people of Biafra in this 21st century. I don't believe it. The, the Western world should stop playing mask politics against the people of Biafra. Enough is enough. We have been killed. And the people of Biafra, it's time for us to activate the right to self-determination, to self-defense. Um, once again, this is my point here. Yes, thank I you am very, 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 very sad. Honestly, it is, it is really incredible. The, the fact is that the, the, what you said is the fact because there is no reason for Germany to decide to sell ammunition, to supply ammunition to Nigeria when Germany is aware that the only people that is having problem with Nigeria for now is the Biafran people who are seeking for their self determination. So, is there any reason Germany should supply Nigeria with weapons now to fight Biafrans? Does it mean that we don't have the right to self-determination? Does it mean that we, can, we have no right to agitate for our right to exist as a nation? Why is Germany selling weapons to, 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 to the Nigerian government when they know that they are going to use that ammunition to kill Biafrans? We have not raised arm for once. We have not, we have never ever had a face-to-face -face combat with the Nigerian forces. We have only been demonstrating in the streets of Biafra land and in the streets of some states in Nigeria and all the whole countries of the world where we have been demonstrating. We have never carried arms. Why is Germany supplying weapons to Nigeria when they know very well that Nigeria is going to use it to kill Biafra? At this point in time, I would like to the United Nations not to feign ignorance.
of what is happening in Nigeria. They should never claim that they don't know what is happening in Nigeria and they have no hand in the massacre of their friends. It simply indicates and means that they make a law only for that law to be used against the people they don't want to exist. If the law of the rights of the indigenous people for self-determination is meant to let people that want to, the indigenous people to have their freedom, why is the United Nations quiet for over three years that Biafra has been demonstrating and asking for their right to self-determination? At this point in time, we are going to go on a short break because the tension is high here. When we come back, when we come back, we continue to look into what the indigenous people of Biafra is going to do from now on. That we know that we have been targeted for this foundation. Keep watching. Biafra freedom, freedom is what we need now. Freedom, freedom is what we want now. Biafra freedom. To Biafra Watchdog coming to you here in Biafra Television, monitored from Malaysia. We are looking at a very, very serious issue today, the massacre of our people at Onisha, sponsored by Willy Obiano, the governor of Anapra State. It is really incredible, it's highly incredible, that the governor of the state, who is supposed to protect the people, turned around to be the one the people are dying in his own hands. So, having looked at this matter in great detail, <clears throat> Biafra watchdogs, we want to suggest, what are we going to do? I want us to suggest, what do you think IPOB is supposed to do? Abu. Well, and I must say, I give you only two minutes to round up because we don't have much time. All right, all right. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I will try to maintain that, that time. Well, uh, to my own uh, suggestion on what we should do, I advise the indigenous people of Biafra whom, and in the diaspora to call your brothers, call your sisters, call your loved ones, your family members. Ask them, have they identified with the indigenous people of Biafra in any city where they are. If you are in Biafra land, go start uniting yourself street by street in order to defend your land. That is what you should do. Nobody, Obama will not help us. Uh, David Cameron will not help us. Rather, they will even come and kill us. So we, it is also written in the Bible that we will cry from now till next year, nobody will come to our aid. So we have to take the bull by the horn, by ourselves. We have to come out, identify with our family members street by street, road by road, community by community, be on a meeting. You don't have to wear Biafra t-shirt if you are in Biafra land to avoid the devil to come and uh, capture you and kill you. What you should do is to be civil and do everything in district with your family members street by street. Defend yourself. That is what you should do. We in the diaspora, we are doing our meeting. We are coming together to identify ourselves because in unity, we will defend ourselves and we chase away the devil. That is my point. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you, Abu. Abu, you have made a very good point that Biafrans in Biafra land should try as much as possible to unite themselves and form a kind of vigilante yes. in, order, in order to defend their land. So, we cannot just sit by and watch the Hausa Fulani, Hesme, Hausa Fulani, Boko Haram, Hausa Fulani soldiers to come and kill us. But Biafra, we must get Biafra. We must surely get Biafra because it is our fatherland. And no one that asks for his own that is making any mistake. So we are Biafrans and we continue asking for Biafra until we get Biafra. Now, um, uh, also, Ruby, what do you think IPOB should be doing in the face of this situation? Thank you. Mr. Moderator, um, our people used to say, 
I will speak in the voice in the language of heaven. Etienne Nunoze, Motoya, Nketi Reti, Larani. Which means? Which means if you are cooking and you put salt or condiments into the very food you are cooking and it is not enough for the food to have its taste. If you finish cooking it that way, automatically both the food, the raw material and the condiments you have already added is all wasted effort and wasted resources. Because the food will be because tasteless. Because the food will be tasteless. <laughs> Everything will be useless. Yeah. What I am telling our people is this. We have started this with our minds. I wouldn't want anybody to go cold. In your own capacity, in your own community, in your own families, make sure everybody is in the same train. What is the same train I'm talking about? Be a hardcore Biafran. Be a hardcore IPOB member. For so doing, you will now get the secret of the so-called saboteurs in Biafran land. Because that's not how somebody from Aosa, Tolani, Oligaki will come to your own father's house to know where you sleep, to know where you farm, to know where you do all things without one of you bringing them in. On that way, you will find out and fish out who are the governor's militia, who are being the saboteurs of our people, who are gingering and giving them information of how they are killing our people. By so doing, you will be the one to select your leaders any day you want to select, and not them putting guns on your neck to make them leaders. Because I can see we have gone so cold that we cannot control ourselves. Rather, we allow people to control us. So let us come together as one, and then, please, everybody, give yourself self-defense. Please, every family, give yourself self-defense. If you don't, have, don't know how to defend yourself, go and ask people who knows how to defend themselves. You shall know how to defend yourself. Because if you wait and say, let us go to church, I will tell you they will come to Akwa Kabarebu, they will kill you. That, and they will, you, they, you, there are people who will be rejoicing over you, the same way they killed us in the past. The, the same way they, some of the Reverend Fathers are now witnessing it. They now kidnap Reverend Sister, they now kidnap Reverend Fathers. Now everybody should get himself equipped for this because finally we know where they are drawing the battle. And when the battle line is drawn, it's drawn. If you accept, you will be killed. If you don't accept, you will be killed. So you better refuse to be killed than accepting it to be killed. Thank you very much, Mr. Murray. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Osorobi, for the advice you are giving to our people to prepare themselves for self-defense. Because actually, it is only a tree that you tell that will be killed, cut down, and the tree will keep standing there. We are endangered species, as we keep saying. They have the matters for extermination, and we cannot keep quiet. We cannot keep quiet. But at all, at all, we don't need to keep quiet because they said if you if you did not say that you are somewhere, nobody will know that you are there. But what has that has been happening to Biafra from the right from the time of inception of Nigeria? It has been a horrible, horrible disaster in the part of Biafra. This time around, as I have said before, Nigerian news and media and journalism are not there for you. They are even there to make sure they twist the story to favor their paymaster. Because 90% of the news media they have back home in Nigeria, they are all brown envelope journalism. So we must surely stand up a lot to make sure we bring up any information that we can squeeze out from those they have that from the Nigeria military, from the Nigeria, and even in their banks, it need to be there, need to be monitoring every of their movement. Everybody needs to be to be a journalist of his own and her own. And furthermore, you must surely make sure you defend yourself. Be in the spirit of self-defense because they are not there. I can look at them outside for the needs. They are murdering and killing people all over the world. But from the presidency, they give order that they are not going to invade. In other words, they are going to deploy military to 
on them. But why are they deploying military on on a, on, on a, civilians? On civilians, even especially in France. Why are they doing that? Because they notice that we are not armed. Believe you me, this enough is enough. As I have said it before, we should begin to defend ourselves because we don't have governor that is speaking to us for us. Look at them, the governor, governor of Egypt. He, he has been speaking and been speaking out. If it is not the moon that is covering him, this thing that is happening in Biafra land, they want to take that state over as well. We need to defend ourselves, brethren, back home there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the point well made. Thank you so much because I know that self-defense is never a crime. Mm -hmm. And for us to defend ourselves is the ultimate for us to achieve our goal. So finally, Oba, what do you think Biafrans should be doing? What do you think IPOB should be doing at this point in time? It is very disheartening that the Germany has come again to kill the brothers and the sisters of the Jews by arming the, the government of Nigeria. Therefore, I am calling on Biafrans in Germany to carry a massive protest against this movement of German government. Carry a protest. We have professors there. We have doctors. We have all the rest of them there. Carry a protest in Germany to stop the German government to supply equipment to Nigerian government. You must do that to stop them. Then come back home and want the people of Biafra to activate. Or well, I am suggesting that the leaders of indigenous people of Biafra should activate the right to self-defense so that the people of Biafra who have been peaceful and the Nigerian government refused to respect their right for self-determination so that they can defend themselves. And come to the, the governor of Anambra State, who happens to be a killer, who believes that the only way he can lead the people of Anambra State is by killing the people of Biafra, committing crime against humanity. Therefore, the people of Biafra should bring the governor of Anambra State to justice, because anyone who killed must face the consequences or the consequence. Therefore, um, Mr. Moderator, I think I have to stop here. Um, the people of Biafra have been killed so much. Thank you They're so the very much. The people of Biafra to be free. Thank you so Thank very you. much, Amadi. Thank you so much because I, it is really a reoccurrence of an uh, event for Germany to, to make up their mind to supply weapons to the demonic state of Nigeria to also kill the Israelis of of, 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 of Africa. It is really disheartening that the German government who killed the Israelites in the, Israel, in, the, in the Jewish Holocaust will make up their mind to still supply war dangerous weapons, sophisticated weapons to the terrorist leader of Nigeria, the Hitler of the 21st century. The Hitler of the 21st century to kill their friends. It is really incredible. This is, this is even funny. This that, is incredible. That, that Muhammad Buhari, who went to Germany, mm -hmm. and they called Germany, Western Germany, okay? And they referring to their leader as, as Chancellor as, Michael. As, as Chancellor oh, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> they they ignored all these blunders. And <laughs> today they are giving them sophisticated equipment. That is it. Uh, and on a very serious note, I want to warn this German government and the American and their counterpart, the British government. They should understand that we are human beings like they are. They have subjected us before, in the past, to slavery. They gave us the Bible, and we accepted to be Christians. They even changed our names. My name is Carlo, and you will call me Emmanuel, because it is an English name. And you cannot call my name, which is my identity, as a Biafra, and we accept it. But today, you are supplying weapons to kill us. 
as a way and supplying weapons to to an Islamic state. Yeah. 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 Islamic you cannot state. ever take that English name. Do I've never seen. I've never seen. Have seen, seen Abu Sufyan Anderson as an English name? I want them to understand. Have you ever seen that? They have pushed us to the wall, and in pushing us to the wall, we are everywhere. We are in Germany. Let them know that when the time will come, we we, we ourselves we will go after them. Because if I'm gonna die, I will die with somebody. Of course. There is a time we will be targeting them. Thank you very much. Come. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. much. Uh, it's really uh, provo it is really heartbreaking and provoking for Germany to decide to say abolitions to uh, to the Islamic State of Nigeria when they actually know what they are going to use that those weapons to do. It's really painful. Honestly. And uh, as it is now, viewers. We have thrown the ball back to you. We the Obiano is not your governor. He is a killer. We the Obiano is a murderer. We the Obiano is an outside agent in Biafra land. His mission is to destroy, to massacre, to kill, to reduce the number of Biafrans as much as he can. But I want you people to be steadfast. I want you dear friends to be strong. The, our leader, Namdekano, made it known to us. All these things are not happening to us now as a news. Our leader, Namdekano, revealed everything to us that they will come. They are going to kill us. And they will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, we will win. Biafra will come. Biafra will come. We will win. So the truth is that we yes. have not started killing them because we want to respect the rule of law. Yes. We are going to activate the right to self-defense. By then, we will kill them, they will kill us, and at the end of the day, Biafra is going come. to come. Yes. On this note, I am thanking you, my able panelists, Mr. Uh, Obabasil, for you. coming in today's program. Thank it you. is really painful that you. here we are talking about a governor that we voted into power that turned to be a lion, a devourer of his own people. You are welcome. Thank you. Val, thank you so very much. It has been a long time. I hope you have continued to stay with us in this program. Thank you. We enjoy your contribution today. Thank you so much. Yes, Pastor Roby, it is really wonderful having you today as always. Thank you are dynamic indeed. Thank you. Abu Kano Abu, Mokika. Yes, you are welcome. Thank you so very much for your contribution. Thank you so much. And this is Ike Chukumorisa from. Biafra Watchdog in Malaysia are turning you down to our studios in London. Tell me why Tell me 